okay so previously we have done the installation of apex and we have checked that all the uh, schemas got created and the apex installation is done and as per the prerequisite uh, we have to install the listener also so uh, so uh, so like i've already said previously also like odds is like uh, the recommended for the latest one because all these are uh, like not allowed for the latest versions okay so if you see here uh, you can install odds 19.x or any later version so i have already downloaded and unzipped the odds so in my c drive i have created one folder here odds uh, so my uh, odds is here if you see param folder there is one file odds params dot properties we will edit this file later i'll show you okay and i have created this cunf folder which will hold the configuration for this arts which is required actually okay so so there are actually if you see here uh, if you see the odd odds uh, documentation so you can actually install arts in the three different way actually standalone or you can go with the web logic server and you can go with the apache tomcat also so uh, in my case like i have already uh, tomcat is installed in my uh, machine so i will go with this option i will i will basically uh, start using uh, tomcat okay you can uh, install a uh, standalone or you can go with this uh, web logic one. okay so if you see the documentation over here so the first thing uh, first thing is we have to do this to uh, create the configuration file actually so so i have already created the here my configuration i just have to go and copy paste over there in this param file Okay, so here if you see, I just nothing. I provide. I'm providing the host name, port, service name, what is my username, what's the password, what is so yeah. So here, if you see uh, in the previous, uh, previously we have installed these three users. Uh, actually, we have installed many uh, schemas users, but uh, you have to remember all these three, and you have to check whether these three are properly configured or not, and you are able to log in or not properly because these two are mainly you are going to be used in the odds installation so i have actually already test all three all the three uh, schemas so we have to provide uh, the 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 password of all these uh, schemas here actually so if you see uh, the first one is the public user so public user password is here Second one is Apex Listener. Apex Listener password is here, and the third user is a REST public user. REST public user password is here, and this one is the password you are going to provide. And the odd installation is going to create a user, uh, which is um, odds public something like that. Uh, there is one uh, user is they are going to be created. Okay. Okay. So I have. I have edited this file. Make sure there are no spaces and all. Just save this file or or params or properties. Okay. So if you see here the property is um, I have already saved. Okay. Now you have to run some commands. Okay. So I have here. Okay. So this thing is done we have checked the schemas and all we have unzipped the uh, folder over here we have unzipped the arts folder here and we have created the conf conf file okay so now okay okay so so now we have to run this command actually to con to start the configuration okay so this arts dot var actually it's present over here so we'll copy this part and we we'll open the command prompt as run as administrator and
we'll change directory to this path and we'll try running this command okay just taking some time okay so i was running a uh, wrong command so this this is actually the right command uh, or sort of our config here and then the path earlier actually i was running this command i'm providing the help so this is not a correct command so that's why we got some error so this command is basically give you a list of uh, commands which is available for all this uh, arts dot bar and all like if you see here a list of available commands is displayed if you run this help and all okay so i was running the wrong command the right command is this one and i have executed this command and uh, everything is done i it's saying the configuration uh, directory is set okay now i will run this command this is the command which will install the the rest services for your apex it's actually uh, in progress it will take some time uh, so i will pause the video and uh, we'll get back okay so here if you see the installation is completed and uh, the odds is like installed with this version and it got completed in within uh, one minute okay so after that we can actually uh, validate also uh, whether the arts is properly installed or not so to validate the arts just run this command so it's asking me to enter the name of the database server localhost localhost 1521 is my port so database service name is my service name let me copy that i've mentioned somewhere this is my service name because it's my pluggable container enter the administration username it is asking for let me provide this enter the database password for sys sysdba confirm password currently it is validating the odd services okay so saying that the uh, completed validation services and you can check the logs also it got created in this directory c show c user show let me check the logs okay so we have lots of the logs created let me check the valid validated one okay so i think it's saying that the validation is fine okay let me just check whether i can access odds or not okay as a as i've already told you that i'm i'm using the installation as a tomcat uh, as i told you that there was uh, different types of installation uh, are available for the Arts. So I have I have actually opt for the Apache Tomcat one. So so in my case, uh, so I have to do a last step, which I actually got the forgot to do. So I have to move the images in the WAR file. Okay. So if I if I see here my 
where I have unzipped my arts my war file is present so I just have to copy this file and I have to paste in my Apache foundation web apps here so I have already pasted over here and the next step is I have to do I have to create a folder like this I you remember like we have provided I as a folder name where we are installing the apex this folder will be used for images so the last step is to move the images so all the images are present in the apex folder from which we have like installation started so if you go here apex images so from here you have to copy all images and you just have to move the images in that i folder because i am using the tomcat installation for the arts if you are if you are doing with the if you are going with the standalone and web logic the the, the 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 configuration is a bit different so you can uh, anytime you can refer all these things so here if you see i have already created uh, a folder called i and i have all i have already pasted all these images over here so so this was the uh, step which actually i got forgot and i directly uh, opened the arts using the localhost so if i uh, after doing all these ste steps if i open this um, arts hopefully it will uh, okay so it will re redirected me to the apex login page okay so if you uh, as of now you don't know the workspace name and all these details because you haven't created any all these things so you only know the admin and you only have this instance admin um, login which you have created in the step two of the app installation using this apex change password uh, sql script so you have this detail with you so you just have to come down and click on this administrator administration now here you can just put this admin and this is your admin password and sign into the administrate administration okay now we are in the apex so here we can create the workspace we can create the users and developers from now we, we uh, like we can start our apex development work here so this was all the uh, apex development uh, sorry apex installation thing I uh, hope you like this video. Thank you. In the next video, we are going to see that how we can create a workspace and developers so that developer can log in into the workspace and start developing Apex, Apex application. And we are also uh, in the next video we are also going to implement a small Apex application. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.